Why are we going all the way to Pluto only to fly by it and not go into orbit? This is Pluto in a minute. It takes a lot of energy to get a rocket off the ground, and that's even with a spacecraft as small as New Horizons, which is roughly the size of a baby grand piano. The rocket isn't just launching the spacecraft, it's launching all of the fuel that it needs to get going on its way to Pluto as well, and that is a really heavy load. The velocity of that launching rocket was transferred into the New Horizons spacecraft, and fast forward nine years to today, the spacecraft is currently whizzing along towards Pluto at 31,000 miles per hour. The other thing to consider is that Pluto is quite small. The force of gravity on Earth is 1G. The force of gravity on Pluto is 0.067 Gs. To get New Horizons into orbit around Pluto, we would almost need to completely stop its current velocity, which means we would need another Atlas V burning against its direction of travel to let it be captured by Pluto. And unfortunately, it's impossible to launch an Atlas V with an Atlas V. If New Horizons had that much fuel on board, the spacecraft would be almost impossible to launch from the Earth. But let's pretend for a second that New Horizons has some magic weightless fuel on board. If we were to use a spacecraft's existing propulsion system to slow it into orbit around Pluto, the burn would last more than 17 days. For more news from Pluto, be sure to check out the New Horizons websites, tweet your questions using the hashtag PlutoFlyby, and be sure to come right back tomorrow for more Pluto in a minute.